Hi, I'm David Mullins, a process engineer with Environmix, and in this video we'll cover the dynamics of fermentation. This is the second video in a four-part series discussing ways wastewater recovery facilities can optimize biological phosphorus removal. In the next few minutes, I'll explain how fermentation can boost biological phosphorus removal, also known as EBPR. The success of EBPR is primarily determined by influent wastewater characteristics, specifically the amount of VFA present in proportion to the amount of phosphorus to be removed. To avoid carbon addition, facilities with insufficient influent VFA can encourage additional VFA production through anaerobic fermentation. VFA is created through the processes of hydrolysis and fermentation. Complex organic matter, such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, are broken down by enzymes to create soluble, or what we might otherwise call readily biodegradable, organics, such as sugars and acids. Facultative bacteria then convert soluble organics to VFA. There are different ways and side streams available for facilities to ferment, but today I'll focus on fermenting within an anaerobic selector, which is sometimes called inline fermentation, because the process occurs within the mainstream wastewater treatment process. To encourage fermentation in the anaerobic zone, it's important to one, ensure a deeply negative ORP environment, two, allow mixed liquor to settle and accumulate, and three, increase the anaerobic mass fraction and solids retention time, or SRT. When mixing is turned off, the biomass settles and accumulates at the bottom of the tank. A sludge blanket forms, creating the fermentation layer. Accumulating solids create a higher concentration of sludge, which in turn increases the anaerobic mass fraction and SRT. Over time, the fermentation layer hydrolyzes and ferments carbon, producing VFA. Intermittently, the anaerobic zone is completely mixed, which fully suspends the fermentation blanket for two reasons. One, it discourages methanogenic activity, which would consume VFA, and two, it recharges the blanket with organic matter for more VFA production. With VFA available, the PAOs now have an abundance of VFA to consume, leading to the release of their stored phosphorus and PAO growth. The important balance to consider with inline fermentation is the production of VFA without mixing and the movement of VFA to the PAOs with mixing. To learn more about VFA transport and the importance of dialing in the right mixing strategy, please check out our next video. Thanks for watching.